Welcome to today's Big Brother 16 updates and spoilers. We have three house guests of the day. Dan C08, Darren Chan, and Rigo Perez. So Dan C08 is going to be studying abroad in South Korea in the spring. That is amazing. And they want to know, what's one thing that I wish I knew before I left? Well, I guess I would say, um, I wish that I knew that it goes like this. Seriously, it was the fastest four months of my life. It was amazing. It was like four of the best months of my life. It's incredible. Take advantage of everything you can while you're over there and make lots of memories and be safe. All right, uh, and Rigo Perez from Utah wants to know, why do I think the house guests don't see Derek as a threat yet? Well, I know that all of us on the outside <laughs> pretty much see Derek as a huge threat, but it's been uh, surfacing more and more lately that these house guests just don't think of him as a threat. He's thrown a lot of competitions, they think he just sucks, and they don't, you know, they don't pick up on the subtle manipulations of his game, so I think that's why. But let's talk about last night quickly. Nicole and Christine were evicted. Bye, Glasses Twins! And I gotta say, how entertaining was Christine's exit? That was crazy. No goodbyes. She stormed out of there, and then she walks out like... Meanwhile, she's getting all these boos! Like, those were loud boos. Wow. So, the house guests were all shocked by the boos. We've never heard boos that loud before. So... They were coming up with different reasons for it, or trying to make sense of it all. So they were like, maybe she was talking crap about everyone in the diary room. Maybe she was just crushing us in there. I'm so sick of them using the word crush like that. Like, it's funny at first, and then it's just like, we've heard it a million times. Um, then they were like, maybe it's because she voted out Donnie. And then they were like, oh crap, we all did that. And then Frankie's like, well, I think it's because she said bad things about me and my family. Really? It's not all about you. So then, a little while later, Derek was like, Oh, Ariana was probably in the audience, and she was the one who started the booing. Really? Come on. So, Cody was like, Do you think it was because of the Zingbot thing? Cody was like, messed up last night. He was looking like he just saw a ghost. You could tell he was really affected by hearing those boos during the live show. So they all tell him, I'm gonna be honest with you right now, your relationship with Christine was weird and inappropriate, but it wasn't your fault. They kept saying like, you're not gonna get booed, you're single, she's married, um, you saw her as a friend, she's freaking in love with you, and they kept telling him like, it's not your fault, it's not your fault. And I don't really agree with that. I think that Cody definitely deserves some of the blame there. He knows that Christine is married and it was really creepy how he would act with her. I'm not saying that it's all his fault because obviously Christine could have set some boundaries, but I think both of them are at fault there. So Frankie takes the opportunity to straddle Cody now that he's feeling vulnerable and now that Christine is gone, and he tells him, I know the way that the world thinks and they're not gonna be angry at you, Cody. Don't speak for the whole world, Frankie. You don't know me. So, Derek is also looking at this situation. And he's getting a little worried um, about how his relationship with Victoria is going to be perceived by America. And they're like, no, no, like, don't worry. Your relationship's totally different. Christine is the worst. It's fine. So then, speaking of Victoria, they start pumping her up about being the final girl left in the game. Since when is that a huge accomplishment? That's embarrassing. So, it was just like so fake and like lame. They were like, oh Victoria, we're so happy it's you. Like we totally made the right decision. And then a little while later, they all agree like Victoria's next. <laughs> so the feeds went off for a little while and when they returned, the house guests were going into the old have-not room, which was redecorated, or if you're Teresa G. Dice from Real Housewives in New Jersey, it was re-renovated. So they saw on display, also New Jersey Housewives, um, the golden button. It was covered with a little glass box, 
so they couldn't get to it right away. So it was kind of like a tease. They weren't supposed to make their decision yet, but they were just like, check this out. And the walls were decorated, I think it was red and black, and it says game all over the walls, like over and over and over again. And there was a TV screen in there that said, the choice is yours. So they're talking about if they should push it or not when they get the chance. Caleb is like, yes, let's push it. He thinks it's Pandora's box. He thinks that they're going to get like $5,000 each or a trip to Hawaii or like some crazy stuff. And the only person who's really against pushing it is Derek. Surprise, surprise. So he's like, guys, I'm just worried it's going to mess up the whole game. Like we came this far. Do we really want to take a chance of messing it up? So we'll come back to that. They had the HOH competition, and I haven't heard too many details about it yet. Apparently it included like bouncing balls or something and like balance. Somebody said water, I don't know. Um, but Frankie won the HOH competition. So <laughs> then when the feeds come back, they're all running to the button room and the glass box has been removed. So, Frankie and Cody, they're all debating whether they should press it or not. Derek is still against it. He's like, guys, I really don't think it's a good idea. And Derek and Cody are like, this is Big Brother. You have to push the button. You can't not push the button. So Caleb is like, prizes! And Victoria, was she even there? Because it didn't seem like it. So the message on the screen was like, it only takes one. But... This is Big Brother 16, and no one in this season can do anything on their own. So, they all decided they're going to press it together. And they did. They were all like, yay! Bleh. So, I mean, would you expect anything different this season? No one has their own brain. So, when they pushed the button, a countdown popped up on the TV screen. It said 5 days, 19 hours, 11 minutes, and 42 seconds. Which would bring them to the middle of the live show on Wednesday night. But they don't seem to know that that's going to be an eviction night. So they, they don't know that the days have changed yet because of football. Show us your football dress under the lab coat. So Frankie's like, oh, America would have hated us if we didn't press it. Derek is still freaking out. He's like, I hope we don't regret this. So Frankie, Caleb, and Derek are all talking in the storage room. And I think this is a telltale sign that Cody is on the outs because he's not in on this conversation for now anyway so Caleb is like uh, I think you should put up Victoria and then someone who's had your back the least <laughs> Cody so he's totally selling out Cody he's not in the room so of course he's gonna throw him under the bus interesting but I think it was pretty clear that Cody would be Frankie's next target because he was talking about getting rid of him last week. So let's talk about Derek's HOH basket. He may have only been HOH for like 15 minutes or whatever, but he still gets his basket. So he went in the storage room to retrieve it, and Cody went in there with him, and Cody picks up one of Derek's photos, and he's like, who's that in the picture with your daughter? And Derek looks at the photo, and it's so awkward. He's just like, uh, that's not the best picture to show. And he didn't, like, explain it to Cody or anything. He's just like, uh, I'll tell you about it later. So he takes the photo and brings it immediately to the diary room to exchange it. It was just, like, really weird. There was a lot of speculation going on on the internet. Um, a lot of people were wondering if it was, like, a picture where Derek is wearing his police uniform or something, and he doesn't want to give that away, obviously. If that's the case, he's lucky that Cody saw it and not someone else, because you know Cody's just going to be like, whatever. <laughs> he's not going to look into that. So his excuse uh, when he came back out was like, yeah, uh, it wasn't a quality picture. It wasn't solid. What does that mean? The house guests were like, what do you mean? Like, was it blurry? Or And he was just like, yeah, that's it. Sure. So later he said to Cody, it would hurt her. I don't want to do that. What? So, a new theory from people on the internet is that um, maybe it had a, it was a photo with his daughter and like a family friend or like a relative or something who maybe he didn't want on the show. I don't know, but I don't know if we're ever going to get a clear answer on that. 
But anyway, let's talk about his other HOH stuff. He got a letter from his dad, Tim, and not Christine's husband. <laughs> and he also got a poem written by his wife with her handprint on it, so that's cute. And lots and lots of snacks. Ooh, zebra cakes. So that's cool. Uh, he also got some special hollas. It wasn't just the normal holla voice. It was from the jury members. So the first one they heard was from Zach, and everyone freaked out when they heard it. He mentioned Fruit Loop Dingus, of course. And then a few minutes later, there was one from Donnie. He got one from Hayden. And then later on, um, this happened a little while later, but I just want to group it with this for my sanity. Uh, there was one from Jocasta, and she did not sound happy. She was just like, holla, Derek. It was crazy. I guess she's not really a fan of him. Yeah, so it's cool that they're getting those from the jury house. Moving on to Frankie's HOH room reveal. This was obnoxious. It was like, ah! oh my god! He was so excited, especially to see this photo of him with his friend slash roommate, Lauren. Uh, the letter was also from her. He got a custom red suit from his friend B Milan. Um, it was a skinny suit, I'll say that. I think it was from a few years ago. He also got some new makeup, some snacks, and some Skittles, which he commented came just in time for nominations. <laughs> and he also got his sister Ariana CD. Alright, so <laughs> Frankie, Caleb, and Derek were all chatting in the HOH room very early this morning, 4.30 a.m. And Frankie confirmed to them that yes, Cody is going to be the one going up on the block with Victoria, but they don't want to tell him directly to his face that he's going up because they're cowards. So they make up this plan that Derek is supposed to tell Cody how Frankie was kind of thinking about putting up Derek and saying like, oh, you've never been nominated before, maybe I should nominate you. But the reasoning for not going through with that will be that Derek has kept him safe multiple times, blah, 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 blah. So they think this is going to work. We'll see. So Victoria checks in with Derek and she's like, who does Frankie want to go this week? So Derek tells her the lie about how Frankie is considering him because he's never been nominated. And Victoria's like, oh no! That's the last thing she wants, as we saw last week. So then Derek was talking to Cody in the rock room, and Cody's like, I think I'm in trouble. I think I'm going to be the one going up this week. And Derek is like, he tells Cody the lie. He's like, well, Frankie was bringing up how I've never been nominated before. And Cody's like, uh, Frankie's BSing you. Cody sees right through it. So he knows that he's going up. And they do agree, like, it's going to be okay because they're not going to vote each other out. So then, now that that's squared away, Cody brings up how he's worried about being booed when he leaves the house. And Derek's like, no, it's okay. He reassures him that Christine is like this evil witch and she had to be doing something like extremely awful for that. And uh, Cody's just a little angel who really loves that. So the house gets really, really slept in today. I mean, they really slept in today. So the big plan today is to clean up the house because it's disgusting. So that's not the only thing happening today. It turns out that today was the day that Jeff and Jordan were visiting and we find out that Jeff proposed to Jordan in the backyard where they met. Oh, it's about time. So uh, apparently when Jeff asked Jordan, first she said, are you serious? And then she said, yes. How exciting is that? You got to love Jeff and Jordan. Um, so we didn't get to see it on the feeds. They were blocked out. But yay, that's so exciting. And it looks like their whole families were there. Jeff tweeted a picture with the house guests and all their families and everything. I think Jordan's dog was even there. And apparently there was a country singer there too. They were saying, I think Brett Eldridge, I'm not really familiar with the country world, so cool. Um, but not Ariana? Why not? She's like the biggest singer ever. So <laughs> congratulations to Jeff and Jordan, very exciting. 
And also exciting, uh, the final live feeds exclusive vote is going on right now. And we get to vote if the house guests are going to take care of a dog or a bunny for a day. That's so cool. It's Big Brother House Pet. I remember they did that a very long time ago. I think it was season one. I don't know if they've done it since then. I can't remember, but it was fun. So that's going to be cool. And nominations should be happening today. They haven't done them yet, but if you check back later, I'll post it in the bottom of the info for this video. I think we know who's going up. So, yeah. And until tomorrow, much love. Edit. Yeah.